Finally, paint day. <laughs> Seems like it's taking forever. This is probably going to take um, two or three series, video series, to get it all in. But as you can see, I've already primed it. In the, in the past, I've used gesso, but I found a uh, product at Walmart. Uh, Rust-Oleum, you can probably get it at Lowe's or, or um, Home Depot or any hardware store, but it's, it's called Chalked. And it's an ultra matte paint. And this particular one is linen white. They make it in different shades, but this one's linen white. And so I used it to, to prime this time instead of brushing on the gesso. But uh, it just took a couple coats and it dries to a nice matte, super matte finish, just like gesso does. So I think I'm going to like it. It's just smoother, so there's no brush strokes that the gesso leaves. And uh, it usually took two or three coats of gesso to get it to get it covered well. So, but I think I'm going to like using this. Uh, I'm going to be using the same paint that I always use, uh, the Deco Art that I get from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I have had trouble spraying that in airbrush in the past, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I decided to go get some reducer to put in versus just using water. The reducer, what the reducer does is it helps it spray smoother and it dries quicker. So, but I, when I priced it, it was $22 for a little half pint bottle or 10 or 12 ounces. Wasn't even that much, probably six ounces. And I could probably find it cheaper online, but I didn't have time to order it. I'm ready to do this. So, but I remember seeing some online do-it-yourself reducer. So I went ahead and done that. And all it is is 91% alcohol and glycerin that you can get at any, at any uh, pharmacy and then distilled water. And I'm just using distilled bottled water and there's formulas for mixing it but I just dumped some in <laughs> so but I got a little bottle here so it's got the mixture of water alcohol and the glycerin and I'll use that to put in my paint cup on the airbrush so anyway um, I'm gonna get started here I'm gonna move the camera around and uh, get this set up and I'll be back in just a minute All right, I've mixed up some uh, white here. It's actually a little bit off gray. And I'm just gonna give it a, and this is metallic. It's got some pearlescent colors in it. So I'm just gonna give this uh, bottom here a little coat of the pearlescent white. It's not completely white. I've actually uh, toned it down with a little bit of a pearlescent black. And it's also got a tad tiny bit of, of a blue in it, a pearlescent blue. Well, I was going to build up the colors with watercolor pencils, and I still will, but I was going to rely on those to do the yellow of the, of the fish, uh, the base coat yellow, and then the light coat of the green on the back, but um, I've got chicken, so I'm going to go ahead and put the, my first base coat down of yellow. And then, uh, and then start building on top of that. Because I want this to be smooth. And uh, I don't think I can do that. I haven't experimented enough with the... Uh, with the watercolor pencils yet to be comfortable doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm used to. Thank <laughs> you. 
Frame. That reducer, the homemade reducer is working pretty good, I think. All right, I've got the, um, the base coats airbrushed on, and I'm going to start doing the hand detailing now, and I'm gonna be using acrylic paint and some uh, dry pigment powder to uh, put in some details and highlights. Uh, this is gonna take me a couple days, so I probably will not show the whole process in the interest of time, just because it's gonna take so long. So when I come to a a detailed step then I'll come on and explain what I'm doing and show you a little bit more what I'm doing uh, or how I'm doing that process but other than that I'm probably just going to do a lot of time lapse and uh, and just cutting and going to a different step and showing that that progress when I get to it so anyway I'm gonna get the camera turned around here and get started on this and uh, hope you enjoy it all right um, I'm going to be taking these watercolor pencils and I've got a whole package here of all different colors. Of course, the more I'm going to be interested in the greens and the blues and the yellows. So, and then what I'll do is I'll just go in here and I'll lightly color on, get some pigment on there. probably can't even see that right now on the on camera but I'll just go through and get some pigment on it and then take a nice soft brush get this big one here and and just blend that color that color in that'll do is it'll build up slowly over layer upon layer upon layer and it'll uh, have a nice transparent look so I'm gonna get started here Just need to remember the, uh, I need to remember the uh, sequence I use each end so that I don't forget on the other side. I'm gonna start on, I'm starting on the non-show side. So if I mess up, <laughs> let's see, I need some paper towels here. Let me get me some.
Okay, what I'm doing here is um, I'm using a super soft black charcoal pencil. And I'm just going through here and tipping each one of these scales. It's easier to do with this than a paintbrush. So what I'll do is I'll go through here and make all the vertical bars. And then I'll take a, um, I've got like a super soft brush here, and I just kind of pat it, blend it in a little bit. And I'll do that and get all the pattern in, and then I'll go back over them again with, uh, just to darken them up a little bit. I may even just pat it with my finger a little bit. And also have, if you look at the scales real close, they have a, they have tiny little specks. And I've got this three thousandths tip ink um, drawing pen here. And I'll just go through and tap tiny little specks and dots on each scale. that can even be seen or not you can you'd be able to see it in person yeah you can see it a little bit but that's going to be time consuming because i'll go through each and every one of them and just put these tiny little specks on here and it's like I say it's not something that you would notice right away but a judge may notice it so every little thing that I can do to add detail and realism to it will help. Let's see if I can find a uh, reference photo here to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. Tell you what I'll do, I'll probably just copy this and put it as an insert. It might not might be too much glare, but you might be able to see it a little bit. But they're just tiny little specks and dots that I'll go through and do that with. I'll just I'll put an inset in it. You can see it better. So but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish going over and doing the the vertical bars and darkening in the top part of the back and around the eyes and then I'll go back and um, oh, I'll spray it I've got a matte fixative here um, I'm just using a polyacrylic but it's a matte finish that I'll spray on it to set that in so that it doesn't uh, come off so let me keep going what I was doing here so we got a little bit of one here a little bit of one here
just taking this brush, a real soft brush now, and I'm just kind of blending, just blending this uh, black into the, just barely touching it. I'll go over it again in a minute to uh, starting to look freaking real. I like I think I like that better than the paint. Than trying to paint that pattern on. I'll get it to where I like it, and then I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit it with the uh, the sealant so that it's not coming off in my hands when I'm doing the other side. What do you think? Let's get down here on the tail some more.
All right, I think I'm going to seal it now and start on the other side. All right, I'll be back when I after I get that done. All right, I've got the um, the bars on this side, and I, sp I sprayed it with the sealant, so now it won't rub off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, the, with this little uh, Micron ink pen. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny tip on it. And I'm just going to go through here and start putting tiny little specks on these scales on the ones that don't have a dark pattern on like I say that just gives it another little layer of realism that you may not see from across the room or when you first look at it but hopefully the judges are going to see that and didn't realize the time was put in on it so I'll show you how I'm doing this here and then I'll uh, get off and so I'm just gonna come in here and just I don't know if you can see that or not And mostly on the ones that doesn't have the pattern on it. So, so you can see that. So this is going to take a while. So. I'm gonna get off here and do this off camera and then uh, I'll come back and show you the finished results on this side and then I'll start the other side with the uh, charcoal again so all right I'll be back okay there's the other side. I still need to put the little dots with the pen on it, but I'm going to, I've got the black charcoal on here now, and I'm going to um, seal it so that I can start putting the little dots on it. And then uh, I think that's gonna wrap today up on this part, so because I want it to set and uh, I will start part 11 tomorrow and uh, probably be adding in some shimmer and shine and then uh, probably going to be starting on the detail of the fins. They have the little white spots so I'm going to bring these to their final color and then start putting the spots on them. So, but anyway, I'll do that tomorrow on, uh, on part 11. Or is it part 10? I've lost track. So many parts. And then I'm going to... Uh, at one, some point I'll work on the mouth. Inside the mouth also. But I'm going to probably save that for last. But if you have any questions or comments, again, uh, feel free to leave them for me in the comments section. Uh, appreciate it if you would subscribe and uh, hit that thumbs up for me. And I will see you all on part 11.